Welcome to the basic introduction to TRAP. This is part one of a three-part series. This part of the series, we're going to go over the basic layout of the TRAP and how the basic game is played. Parts two and three, we're going to do advanced hold points, advanced flight of the bird, and uh, some strategies on shooting TRAP. Okay? So, let's start off with the layout of the field. First, we have the stations, which are right here, which you come into. You have the trap house, and then you have the bird that comes out of the trap house. This right here is a 16 yard line. It extends back to 27 yard line. Okay? All the targets come out of the trap house, like I said, from a machine that's rotating left and right the whole time. It's constantly moving back and forth. When you say pull, it launches a target. This is the far left target for you. This is the far right. The stations are numbered from left to right. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, a round of trap is 25 shots. There's 25 shells in a box. So that keeps that simple. So you're going to shoot five shots on each station. The way it works is the person that starts off is the person is the furthest to the left. So generally if you have five people here, this person on station one starts. If you have two people and somebody starting here and then the person's here, then this person would lead off through the whole round. So if we have five people, let's say, they shoot one shot, then it goes to the next person, then they shoot. Next person, they shoot, the next person they shoot, and they, they shoot. And to call for the bird, people generally say the word pull. However, any noise that you make coming out of your mouth is what's supposed to launch. So you might get somebody that says up, you'll get people that grunt. I even heard uh, one person that sounded like they're quacking like a duck. Now, so they're each calling for the targets and they're each shooting their individual targets. It's one target, so one shell in the gun at a time. Okay? Now, once every person fired their five shots, you rotate. One goes to two, two goes to three, and then five walks behind everybody and goes to one. Now the person on two, because they started off first, waits until the person that's going from five to one is ready. Uh, generally you look over at the person, they nod, they give you a thumbs up, or if they just look like they're ready, then you go ahead and you get ready, you call for the target, the target comes out and you shoot and the sequence starts again until you each shot five shots and then you rotate again. Now, the flight of the bird you notice you have a left and you have a right. They go out about 44 to 46 miles an hour. There's a certain criteria set by the American Trap Shooters Association that dictates the far left and the far right angle. Now when you shoot trap you'll notice that on station one you have a hard left and then you have a straightaway for your right. In station five you have a hard right and a straightaway for your left target. And a common question that I get is, how does the machine know where you're at? Well, it doesn't. If, when you're standing on this station here, you've moved to the side here, and plus with the curvature here, you're now at a different angle to the target. So when the target comes out, this hard, this left, which looks just left for this person and a straightaway for this person is just because of your angle. So now you have to lead the target more to shoot it. Same thing over here. It's just that your angle to the path of the target opposed to from being in the center station. Okay? Now, in trap competition, this is commonly called the singles event because it's a single 16 yard line. The reason why they call it kind of call it singles is because one target comes out at a time. Your next event is the handicap. 
which encompasses everything behind the 16 yard line. The reason why they call it the handicap is the farther you move back, the more difficult it is to hit the target. This back here is a 27 yard line, which means that you're 27 yards from the front of the trap house. Here you're 16 yards from the front of the trap house. So you're, you're 11 yards further back here from here to even see the target. So the target's much smaller, it's a smaller move, and it's more difficult to hit. And this handicaps all the top shooters back here to make it easier for the shooters up here to compete. Plus, it, it makes it more challenging because your top trap shooters can run 400 straight off of the 16 yard line, whereas with the 27 yard line, uh, it's not as, as often you're going to get 100 straights. It happens every year, but not as many people can shoot 100 straight from the 27 yard line as opposed to the 16 yard line. Okay? Now, when you're standing on the stations, you have to figure out where to hold the gun to see the target. So basic hold points for a right-handed shooter is if you're standing here, you want to start holding the gun right around here on the trap. Station 2, it's, it's in about a foot. Station 3, some hold it just left of center, some hold it just right of center. I like right of center. Station four, a foot in from, from the right over, right in this area. And station five, right-handed shooters generally hold it off the trap to the side about a foot to two feet. And that's basically where you hold the gun above the trap house to call for the target to give yourself a good chance to hit the target. In the later series, we're going to go over exactly what to look for for you to approach those. But for right now, if you go out, just know that it's better to hold it here because you're going to have a hard left and you're going to get a straightaway is what it's going to appear. And if you're holding over here, it makes these left targets much more difficult to hit. And the same thing here, if you're holding in the center any of these right targets, your gun's blocking your view and it makes it more difficult to hit. Okay? And, it, and I would stick when you're brand new to start off with, station three, and if you can, just shoot a box on station three, get used to the targets coming up because you don't know if you're gonna get a left or if you're gonna get a right, a straightaway, or anything in between. And uh, that's basic trap. Uh, check out the second video to find out more about more definitive hold points and start getting into how to look for the target. Thank you.